you are or you are going to be a B2B sales professionals or you're also starting to build your own business as an entrepreneur as well too. So congratulations, you find the right video. So you, one of the key thing you already understand that your main mission is about driving sales. How do you drive sales? And if you are doing business in a B2B space, you have to drive business to business sales as well too. But congratulations, nothing to worry about because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can manage great sales and you can generate, manage your leads so you can convert them to closer to revenue or cash. Before I start anything, I want to tell you one thing very clear. For you in sales, number one priority should be your sales management. If you will manage it well, you will be driving out really good forward to your success. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do great sales management, particularly for lead management and convert them to your closer. You want that, right? So let's get started. After working like last 15 years in IGPL, this is what I realized. What is IT? The reason of, of lead is about it's not about how much leads, but what is the quality of the leads matter the most. Um, so we're gonna yeah. focus about the quality, um, and so I added four here, which are really uh, strong and good leads here. So now, how we deal with this? So before we start dealing with this one, I want to talk a little bit about strategies. So I wanted to talk about um, this this thing. First, we have to talk about our customer mapping. It's really, really important. So, so the, these are the different kind of companies we have. We have multinational companies, like a big CMC and so on. We have a local corporates. Let's say they have thousands of people, but it's a Vietnamese company, or maybe joint venture companies, some sort of a foreign investor, like one me example. Another type of companies we have 200 to 500 people they have. Another type of company who are like a little more than a startup. They have like 50 to 200 people. And another type of company is we have 10 to 50. They are like in a startup. They are like just in a startup phase. Um, and this is the one is an absolute startup. They have like less than 10 people and like just, just move on. So we only do the customer mapping here. A future leadership program. This is where we, we stand through. You can see this one. Um, so let me just highlight this part. When you, when you see this part, actually, what happens uh, is about big MNCs, we have maybe, we think they maybe, because big MNC have a lot of budget and they also have an OD department. So, so they probably want to do an, a, a internal training program or they can hire with a lot of budgets to bring the people into that. However, if we have a relationship and we have a customer um, um relationship with them we can change their maybe to yes so the goal is to have a sales process about we know the three steps yes maybe no so the goal is that if you can if you can push that maybe to yes with the right positioning and right thing then it's very much possible but when the one is no that's quite challenging to make them maybe and maybe to yes because it takes a lot of effort and definitely we will target the yes so MNCs maybe, local corporate is a yes, because they don't have a good HR team and their OD department is they never invested, so they will like to outsource probably. This size is also yes, but this size where is now start to get a low, low budget companies. They're like 50 to 200 people. They're more like less money they have. Um, they have less budget for that, so this maybe. And these are the two small, they will definitely will not be excited about with such kind of big program. But however, they, are, they have interest about other things. They are going to be interested about um, training 4.0, which is like one or three days of program. But they will be interested about RPO because recruitment processing, uh, recruit, um, outsourcing will be interesting for them because they have uh, um, they have uh, low skill or no talent acquisition team. So those kinds of product, they will be interesting for them. So overall, this is where we, 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 we see it. And our goal will be to target the yes and maybe for a future leadership program. Any question, guys? No, not really. So, like I said, that very early study is about 
our planning is gonna we can engage them our fundamental goal is to make them on board as a future leadership program but however if we don't see them they are not really interested in future leadership program we can also we, in that point our mission will be to figure it out what other pro problems or challenges they have which can be solved by other product of VSR Pro Academy because when we can sell them another product to VSR Pro Academy they will know about us they know about our quality we will build the trust and confidence and then they probably then following season they will be the client of future leadership program you got me mm -hmm. yeah so that is why i'm showing you this customer mapping and this is so crucial for b2b sales because if you don't understand the customer mapping it will be a nightmare to close any deals and we'll lose a lot of clients Thank you.